everyone. This is Midnight Mommy. So for today's tutorial, ituturo ko sa inyo tungkol sa acceleration. So acceleration, this is a vector quantity which is defined as the rate at which an object changes its velocity. So nabanggit dito na isa siyang vector quantity. So acceleration natin nakadepende siya sa dalawang factors. So una is the rate of motion. So ibig sabihin, tinitingnan natin dito ay yung pagbabago sa velocity. Kung siya ba ay bumilis o kung siya ba ay mas bumagal pa. And then also, nakadepende rin ang acceleration natin sa direction ng motion. So, ibig sabihin, kung nalimbawa nagkaroon tayo ng change in direction, okay, magkakaroon ka rin, of course, ng acceleration. Now, ang common unit na ginagamit natin for acceleration is meters per second squared. So, ang formula na ginagamit natin for acceleration is final velocity minus initial velocity divided by the time. So, kung sa symbols, ito ay Vf minus Vi over t. Yung ating acceleration is uh, posible itong dalawang bagay. Pwede siyang maging positive acceleration or pwede rin siyang maging negative acceleration. So pag sinabi natin positive acceleration, ang ibig sabihin nito, yung object natin, pabilis siya ng pabilis. And kapag negative naman yung acceleration, ang tawag natin dito ay deceleration. Ang ibig sabihin nun, yung object natin, pabagal siya ng pabagal hanggang sa hihinto na siya. Ngayon, kapag ang acceleration natin is equal to zero, ang ibig sabihin nito, meron tayong constant velocity. Pag sinabi natin constant velocity, ang ibig sabihin nun, yung initial velocity mo and yung final velocity mo ay parehas lang. In short, hindi nagbabago yung ating velocity. Now, ang acceleration natin, pwede siyang mangyari uh, based sa... acceleration is possible kapag una, meron kang change in speed. So kapag nabago yung speed ng object natin, so let's say mas bumilis siya o mas bumagal siya, meron kang acceleration. Pwede rin kang magkaroon ng acceleration kapag nagkaroon ka ng change in direction. So for example, data yung object mo it's moving to the east and then digla siyang nag-move to the north. So dahil meron kang change in direction, meron tayong acceleration. And then finally, pwede ka rin magkaroon ng acceleration kapag parehas na nagbago yung ating speed and direction. So, ibig sabihin, um, either mabawasan or madagdagan yung ating speed, and then nagbago ka rin ng direction, posible ka rin magkaroon ng acceleration. Played the acceleration of Josh riding his bicycle in a straight line that speeds up from 4 meters per second to 6 meters per second in 5 seconds. So, dito sa problem na to, identify muna natin yung ating given. So first, identify natin na ating initial velocity. So based sa mga word problems, madali mong malalaman na initial velocity. So sa mga problems, madali nating malalaman na initial velocity. Okay? So ang kapartner niya na word ay usually yung word na from. Okay? So sa case na to, na sinabi rito from 4 meters per second, ibig sabihin, yung ating initial velocity ay 4 meters per second. And then yung ating final velocity sa mga word problem, malalaman natin na kapag final velocity ito, kapag ang kapartner niya ng word ay 2. So, kung makikita natin dito sa problem, ang sabi rito, to 6 meters per second. So, ibig sabihin, yung 6 meters per second, ito ang ating final velocity. And then, of course, kailangan natin ng time. Basta nakakita kayo ng unit ng time, ibig sabihin, yun yung time na kailangan natin. So, sa case na to, meron tayong 5 seconds. Ngayon, alam natin ang formula for acceleration is Vf minus Vi divided by T. So, isa-substitute lang natin yung ating mga values. So, ang Vf natin ay 6 meters per second. Ima-minus natin sa 4 meters per second na Vi. And then, i-divide natin siya dun sa time na 5 seconds. So, ang magiging final answer natin dito is 0 0.4 meters per second squared. So, ano ibig sabihin ng acceleration na to? Sa bawat isang segundo, nadadagdagan ng 0 0.4 meters per second yung ating speed o yung ating velocity. So, Dean is slowing down on his skateboards. He starts at a speed of 5.5 meters per second and slows to 1 meter per second over a time of 3 seconds. What is Dean's acceleration? Okay, so sa problem na to, tingnan natin ulit yung mga given natin. So, meron tayo ditong Initial velocity. Okay, so again, paano natin malalaman initial velocity? Since walang nabanggit dito na word na from, okay, pero sinabi sa problem na he starts. Okay, it's he starts at a speed of 5 meters per second. 
So, ibig sabihin nito, yung 5.5 meters per second ang ating initial velocity. And then, yung ating final velocity, okay? Again, hanapin natin yung merong um, ka-partner na word na 2. So, ito yon So, 2, 1 meter per second. So, ibig sabihin yung ating 1.0 meter per second ng ating final velocity. And then lastly, kailangan natin hanapin yung time. So, meron tayong given dito na time na 3.0 seconds. Okay, so kung co-compute natin ang ating acceleration, so acceleration is Vf minus Vi over T. So, substitute lang ulit natin yung mga values. So, meron tayo ditong 1 meter per second sa final velocity minus yung initial velocity natin na 5.5 meters per second. And then, i-divide natin to sa time natin na 3 seconds. So, ang makukuha natin na value dito is equal to negative 1.5 meters per second squared. So, kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayo ditong negative sign. So, ibig sabihin nito, yung acceleration natin ay isang deceleration. Ibig sabihin, pabagal ng pabagal yung ating um, object. So, in this case, si Dean is pabagal siya ng pabagal. So, every second yung kanyang uh, speed is nababawasan ng 1.5 meters per second. How long would it take Jesse with an acceleration of negative 2.15 meters per second squared to bring his bicycle with an initial velocity of 13.5 meters per second to a complete stop? So sa problem na to, identify ulit natin yung mga given natin. So meron na tayo ditong given na acceleration na negative 2.50 meters per second squared. So, paano natin ito nalaman acceleration? Kasi nasabi doon sa problem. Okay, ngayon, kung hindi na banggit yung word na acceleration, mapapansin nyo naman yan based sa unit. Kasi ang unit ng acceleration is meters per second squared. And then, nabanggit dito na ang kanyang initial velocity is 13.5 meters per second. So, lalagay natin dito, VI is 13.5 meters per second. Now, nabanggit dyan na yung bicycle niya is mag stop Kaya sabi rito, to a complete stop. So, kapag nakastop ang isang object, ibig sabihin yung kanyang velocity is zero. So, dito ilalagay natin na ang final velocity natin is equal to zero. And then, ang hinahanap sa problem is how long. So, ibig sabihin, ang kailangan natin hanapin dito is the time. So, ang ating equation for acceleration is Vf minus Vi over T. So, para ma-solve natin yung value ng T, so cross-multiply lang natin to. Or in short, ang pinaka-shortcut nito, ganito lang. Pagpapalitin nyo lang yung position ng A at saka ng T. So, magiging ganito siya. T is equal to Vf minus Vi over A. Okay, so, i-substitute na natin yung mga values. So, meron tayo ditong T is equal to, ang Vf natin is equal to 0. Minus ang VI natin, 13.5 meters per second. And then, i-divide natin siya dun sa ating acceleration na negative 2.50 meters per second squared. So, mapapansin nyo dito, yung ating meter is makakancel. And then, yung isang second makakancel dun. Kaya, ang matitira na lang na unit dito is second. So, ang makukuha natin sa God for the time is equal to 5.4 seconds. Now, the elevators in the landmark tower in Yokohama, Japan are among the fastest in the world. They accelerate upward at 3.125 meters per second squared for 4 seconds to reach their final speed. If these elevators start from rest, what is their final speed? Okay, so identify natin yung given. So sa given natin, meron tayong acceleration. Okay, so nabanggit na dyan na they accelerate. Yan, so meron tayong 3.125 meters per second squared. And then given din tayo dito ng time. So ang time natin is 4.0 seconds. Now, ang tinatanong dito is yung final speed. Pero nabanggit sa problem na yung mga elevators start from rest. So kapag nakita nyo yung word na rest, ibig sabihin nun, zero ang iyong speed o ang iyong velocity. So in this case, siya yung initial speed natin. Kasi sinabi start from rest. So, Vi is equal to 0. So, ang hinahanap natin sa problem is the final velocity. So, kung babalikan natin yung ating equation, so meron tayong A is equal to Vf minus Vi over T. Okay, so 
para masolve natin ng BF, first kailangan natin i-cross multiply yung A at saka T. Kaya magiging AT is equal to BF minus BI. Now, since VF lang ang gusto nating masolve, kailangan itong negative VI, itatranspose natin dito sa left side. And then, yung negative na yon magiging positive siya pag nilipat natin siya sa kabilang side. Kaya magiging ganito na yung equation natin. AT plus VI is equal to VF. Okay, so substitute na natin yung mga values. So therefore, meron tayong VF is equal to, yung ating acceleration is 3.125 meters per second squared. And then, i-multiply natin siya sa time na 4.0 seconds. So, mapapansin nyo, yung isang second dito is makakancel. Kaya, ang may iwan na unit na lang dito is meter per second. And then, ipa-plus natin siya doon sa ating BI na 0. So, therefore, ang final answer natin for the final velocity is this one is equal to 12.5 meters per second. So sana po nakatulong ng malaki sa inyo itong video na to about acceleration. So panoorin niyo po yung next video ko tungkol naman siya sa uniformly accelerated motion na kung saan yung acceleration natin doon is considered constant.